So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here, hello, welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, cause I'm the flower that blooms at night. And as you can read from the title of today's video, we're going to be doing a RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2 cast review and reaction. So let's get into it, shall we? So as you guys may or may not know, I am a UK drag queen myself, I am from England and I've actually met a couple of these queens before in person as well as seen their performances and acts live. So I do know a little bit more about the season 2 of the UK edition as opposed to the cast of the season 13 USA edition. And up first on my little list we have a horror. I have followed her for such a long time on Instagram and that bitch is stunning. She paints so well and the people that make her hair and her like creative vision with her hair is everything. The fact that she sews most of her costumes is mind-blowing to me and that like promo look of that nice like light kind of pastel-y tealy blue was so sickening so I am so excited to see what Ahura brings. I am definitely rooting for her and she is one of my favourites of the cast so far and... Yeah, I'm rooting for our fellow northern bitch. <laughs> Up next, we have Estina Mandela. Honestly, I don't know a great deal about this queen. I've never, like, met her or seen her perform. But from what I know of her and, like, what I've heard of her, she is an incredible dancer. So, not gonna lie, girl, I'm kind of hoping she's gonna be in the bottom two a couple of times just so I can see her perform and flip and twirl and dance. But, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't get too much from her. The promo look, in all honesty, didn't blow me away, but, um, her mug was stunning. I'll give her that. Bimini Bon Boulash. That is a very unique and different drag name, that's for sure. Her promo look was one of my favourite out of the, like, cast, and based on her Meet the Queens and from, like, what I've seen of her, she also seems like an incredible performer that's really flexible and does some fun, interesting tricks. So again, I don't really know a great deal about this queen, but from what I got from the Meet the Queens, from what I got from the promo, and from what I've seen of her online, I'm impressed. Now this is why I do drag. Cherry Valentine is honestly drag perfection to me. The way she paints, the way her hair's done, the way that promo gown was constructed is everything. She is so talented and she is another queen I followed for such a long time on Instagram. She's kind of newer to the drag world and the drag scene but girl she is perfection. She paints so well, she constructs garments so well and yeah she's my number one. She's my favourite of the cast and I expect great things. So Ellie Diamond, she's another queen that I don't really know a great deal about, but based on her promo look, I absolutely love that she threw it back to the Wizard of Oz, and kind of from the Meet the Queens, she seems quite campy and kooky and cutesy, so um, yeah, I'm excited to see what she brings, but overall I don't have a great kind of reaction to this queen, but generally the queens that I'm like least like, oh my god she's amazing, stunning, sickening, end up being the dark horse of the competition and really blowing me away, so um, yeah, Ellie Diamond so far. I like to promo look, but I don't know much about. Now this next queen is a breath of fresh air for the Drag Race franchise, and it is Ginny Lemon, Miss Fancy a Slice. I honestly love her so much, and my friends that I know in the drag like industry and the drag community all know Ginny, they've all worked with her, and I followed her for such a long time. I've seen her performances through them, like sharing it on social media and everything, and she is honestly so sickening to me. She has a very different kind of art style to do with drag and honestly I can't wait to see what she brings. The fact that she was wearing yellow crocs in that promo look made me so happy and honestly it's very much her vibe, very much her aesthetic and she is really good at what she does. Looks is maybe something a little bit different for the drag race kind of what we've seen and I'm kind of here for it. <laughs> Up next we have Joe Black. I think she is the drag sister of Licorice Black, or part of like the Black household. And Licorice Black is another one of my favourite UK drag queens of all time, along with Juno Birch. Like, Juno Birch is sickening, I love her so much, along with Licorice. And Joe Black gives me that kind of different, quirky, dark-sided sense of drag, and I am so here for it. Any queen that's a little bit kooky, a little bit quirky, a little bit different and dark-sided, has me rooting for this bitch. From the Meet the Queens and the promo look, I was so here for the fantasy she was giving, so I'm excited to see what she brings. So Lawrence Cheney, I do love me a Scottish queen and I love the accent, but from like the Meet the Queens and from what I've seen of her, I don't really know all that much. I think it's mainly because I know a lot more like English queens and like London queens, Birmingham queens that 
I don't really know many Scottish or Welsh or Irish kind of queens since I never really see them. I've not seen them perform, that kind of thing. But yeah, I liked her promo look. I kind of liked her Meet the Queens, but hopefully she blows me away since I don't have too much of a vibe yet. Up next, we have Sister Sister. I actually really liked that she went for something very different for her promo look and a very different kind of silhouette than what you would expect for a general like drag queen and a drag promo look for Drag Race. So I'm excited to see what she brings in terms of fashion and styling and kind of a different take on drag. But from the Meet the Queens and from what I know of her, I don't really know too much. So she's another queen that I'm kind of excited to see what she brings on the show, but I don't have too much of an opinion of so far. <sighs> this next queen I would kai kai with any day of the week and it is Tace. She can honestly perform the house down, the way she paints, the way her garments look, everything about her is again drag perfection. She's another one of the queens that I'm really rooting for and expecting big things from since I've seen her perform, I've literally like experienced the taste fantasy and I'm so here for it. I'm so here for what she brings and the talent that she's bringing so she best fucking bring it. <laughs> Okay, so this next drag queen's name honestly just makes me so happy. I am so here for a queen that just has like a campy, stupid drag name, and it is Tea or Coffee. So it's like tea or coffee, which honestly I just find so funny. It's so corny and so cheesy, and I'm so here for that kind of drag. I like just stupid, corny, campy kind of moments, and she gives me that. She gives me good comedy. From the Meet the Queens and kind of her promo look, I didn't get too much fashion aesthetics, but in terms of personality and comedic flair, she's got it in the bag, so I'm hoping she gives some fashion on the show and can like change my mind aesthetically on her, but personality-wise, I'm here for her. And then finally, we have Veronica Green. She's another queen that I've seen perform and seen her performances and kind of followed on Instagram, so I know a little bit more about this queen and she can sing. She is a very talented singer and the way she paints her mug is honestly so stunning to me. Her promo look didn't particularly blow me away and I've seen her look so much nicer so many other times, but honestly, the way she paints is pretty perfection and again she's another queen that I'm kind of rooting for but we'll see what she's like on the show since I've not seen too much outside of like her singing and just general aesthetics to know how she'll be like well-rounded but I'm here to see what she'll bring. So yeah, that completes my little Meet the Queens for the RuPaul's Drag Race Season 2 UK Edition. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which queen of the cast is your favourite. And don't forget to subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. There should be one new video every single Monday at 10pm Greenwich Mean Time. But like I said, make sure you hit that notification bell to tell you about updates, bonus videos, and the works of it all. And um... Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, that was actually quite a good one. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Bye. Also, Happy New Year, bitch.